Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here with me today. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to all the recent subscribers. Thank you very much to those of you that have generously donated to my work. You know who you are. Wow, thank you very much and God bless you. There's a new warning coming out from the CDC about a disease that makes you allergic to red meat. It's transmitted by the Iscos scapularius tick or what they call hard ticks more commonly known as the deer tick or the black legged tick. Among all the diseases that it can pass on to people, the number one disease here in the United States currently is Lyme disease. But there's a new one called alpha gal syndrome. During blood feeding on their host, ticks secrete and introduce a saliva secretion that passes the disease on to humans such as Colorado tick fever, os hemorrhagic fever, and different types of encephalitis, Lyme disease being number one. The CDC estimates that approximately 776,000 people are diagnosed with Lyme disease each year. The annual cost of Lyme disease to the United States healthcare system ranges between seven hundred and twelve to one point three billion dollars or approximately three thousand dollars per patient in recent years several tick species are moving and expanding their geographic range hence studies have predicted that increase in tick-borne diseases including AGS food allergies affect 32 million Americans including 1.6 million children under 18 more than 170 types of food can cause allergies, including milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, soy, red meat, fish, and crustacean shellfish. Alpha-Gal syndrome, or AGS, is already common in several regions of the world. In the United States alone, the number of confirmed cases of AGS has risen from only 12 in 2009 to 34,000 in 2019 to possibly 450,000 Americans in another report. More than 100,000 people in the U.S. have already become allergic to red meat since 2010 because of a weird syndrome triggered by the tick bite. Originally back in 2007 they found that uh, cancer drugs for treatment of cancer would cause um, the syndrome. They have also found that people who develop this allergy to red meats, it may um, happen to them after consuming the meat right away, or it could be a delayed reaction. The mechanism of delayed reaction against red meat patients is poorly understood. It correlates with several factors involved in meat digestion, absorption, transport and subsequent presentation to the host's immune system. Some people report specific reactions, symptoms such as nausea, indigestion, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort pain. However, some people who have developed um, AGS report no symptoms at all. A recent study compared the frequency of delayed reactions against AGS patients um, subjected to beef, pork, lamb, and deer meat. Other foods that can cause a reaction is gelatin, collagen, and catumcimab. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's spelled C-E-T-U-X-I-M-A-B. It's used in the treatment of certain types of cancer of the colon, large intestine, or rectum. Here is a list of the countries that have reported this you know, virus, I guess you call it. Um, here in the United States, it uh, goes back to 2013. Australia, 2013 and 14. Sweden, Germany, Norway, Spain, Korea, Japan, Costa Rica, Panama, 
Zimbabwe, Japan, let me bring it down, Brazil, the Ivory Coast, South Africa, France, Turkey, and the Netherlands. Oh, excuse me, it has not been identified in France, Turkey, or the Netherlands. A study that was done in Switzerland found that people with blood type B neg negative were more affected by AGS than other blood types. Really odd how it doesn't seem to affect eating chicken or fish, um, different types of birds, venison, turkey, but people who are infected when they eat beef, pork, or venison or other meat from mammals, they seem to get the uh, digestion problem. Or if they ingest milk, gelatin, and other things, you know, cheese made from mammal products. So now they're warning people about the lone star tick that is in the category of what they call hard ticks, deer ticks. They're not from Texas, just the name that they gave this tick, the lone star tick. So if you develop symptoms, including hives, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, severe stomach pain, difficulty breathing, dizziness has been reported, swelling of the lips, throat, tongue, or eyelids. Even hours after you ate some red meat, you might contact your doctor to see if you got this new virus, AGS. So where did this come from? I often wondered where did Lyme d disease come, come from that was named after Lyme, Connecticut, where it was first discovered in 1976. So where did AGS come from? Put your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.